Okay guys, if everything is going as planned, we are going to Spain in about a week or so. And uh, last time we was there, we was hunting for the mouflon sheep and the red stacks. But uh, this time we are there one month earlier than last time. So, so this time the red stacks are rotting. And I'm pretty excited about that because I haven't been close to the, to the red stacks ever before. Uh, with the roaring and all that stuff, so I haven't tried that before, so, so I'm pretty excited about that. But I have also made up my mind that I'm not going to be disappointed if I'm not shooting anything. Because it's primarily spot and stock in the mountains, and uh, as we all know, it's a marginal feat with the, with the traditional bow, and we only have five days. So, uh, so I've decided not to be disappointed, but uh, I'm going to try my best. And hopefully I'm, I'm going to be lucky. But uh, anyways, today I wanted to show you the setup I'm going to use. And uh, I'm going to use the, the Dryad Epic 17, uh, the bow I've been testing the last, in the last videos. And uh, with the Boson limbs, uh, these are 50 pounds and uh, carbon, carbon foam, uh, pretty fast. I was testing those two and uh, they work pretty well. The the arrow I'm going to use is the is the the Black Eagle X Impact micro diameter with the with the thread veins and a yellow knock. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to be able to to see the arrow in the air. The broadhead is the VPA three bladed uh, with the insert outsert, and uh, I think this one is 145 grain and this is 200 grain, so almost 350 grain in front of this and uh, this arrow is 580 so we are talking about we are talking about pretty decent FOC here I think it's we are talking about 27 28 percent or something that's also one of the reasons why this arrow is flying so well because because I have this balance point this far out and uh, because the distance from here to there to the feather or the veins is so long it's easier for the for the veins to control the tip of the arrow because this this lever right here is, is so short and this lever right here is so long it's actually the, it's actually Newton's law I have talked about this before so uh, Anyways, let's give it a few shots down at the target to, to, to see what happens. And uh, I've been shooting this, uh, this arrow too at, uh, at uh, 30 yards and uh, I've shot at 25. Here yeah, we are talking about 20 yards. So let's give it a few shots, see what happens. Not bad, I'm going to pick that up. I'm not going to zoom in on this because the idea is that hopefully you can see these in the air. If you cannot, it's just too bad because I'm not going to change anything now. Right on the money. I almost feel the urge to, to zoom in on this one, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> As I said, I've been shooting at 25 and 32, and uh, I, I'm telling you, these, these arrows are flying like a laser beam. And uh, I think the high FOC, uh, or let me say it like this, I know the high FOC is playing a role and uh, we don't need these big feathers or, or anything we can shoot the thread veins with no problems and uh, I have also I've told you before I've made this bump but I have actually also carved out the riser right here made it made kind of a if anybody can can remember this is kind of a wolfy wrist we're talking about here okay so uh, 
hopefully I'll see you in Spain uh, for some good footage and uh, until next time thanks for watching Not bad.